now and Jules here from Jules Designs and JT Creations. So today um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through um, making some full washi tape with just plain old DIY masking tape. Um, and this is on um, acetate and it peels off and doesn't leave a sticky residue. So what I did was, and I have this um, as a freebie, it will go up as a freebie. This is from my um, uh, Summer Rose kit. Um, so what I did was I did strips. This is an A4 paper. Um, I think in America it's 8, eight by 11. Um, but this is A4 in the UK. I then put a piece of acetate or something that you can see through and stick masking tape to that will come off. You know, you can peel it off easy enough. I just taped it down a bit. And then all I do is I just put the masking tape. Now, normally I've got my head over this, so. <laughs> Trim it off there. Let's see, I've missed a bit there. So if that happens, just pull it off. Reset because I've got a silicon mat under this. If I remove the silicon mat, this will this will stick. Um, just stick that down, and then what we'll do is we'll stick this back on. Quite forgiving masking tape. Um, if you do get it wonky, it doesn't, you know, it, it won't do any harm. Um, you can usually rip this off with your nails. Um, but it does like to stick on anything it finds. You can see it's quite strong. And it's not gone quite to the edge there, but never mind. And this one. Now, when you print out on this acetate, you have to remember it's masking tape that you're printing onto, so it doesn't print as um, clear. As you can see with this one, it's not a sharp um, image you get. You can see the image. Now this is, um, this was just sort of like um, patterns I'd made um, to make labels with the, you know, the scruffy edges. So they've come out. That had writing along and um, you can see it. A little bit that's got stamps on it but I quite like the way it prints out um, because it looks faded it looks old it gives to that vintage look um, and then all I do is take this off stick that down there I've what you know, I've just I've still got the image on my printer, um, on my computer screen. I've just turned those in a little bit because you don't want your. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it through the printer, so I'll be back when I've printed it. Hi, I'm back, and when I did this, I thought I'd got it even, you know, I'd, I'd sort of like did the alignment and everything, but I hadn't. So when I put it through, it's kind of missed. Um, I've done it 
that way and as you can see there's paper there um, and it should have gone in that way but I'm not too worried about that anyway this is what I've got this is what is on the computer this is the template and you can do your own and this is how it's printed off so you can see the Paris has run a bit um, but again it I like it you know it, it, it's not a sharp print you can still see the stamp mark you can see the butterfly you can see the stamp um, you can see the flowers but I think it's a brilliant way of just making um, page um, edges for your journals and if you you know if you keep watching me you will see me use these because um, I'm in the middle of doing ephemera for the summer rose journal and then once I've got all the ephemera ready what I do is I do an organisation, uh, organising the uh, journal, um, putting everything in and sort of like do my stamping, um, stenciling on the pages and adding everything. And this is when I add things like this. And I also thought it would be nice just to put on paper and do paper ruffles because this stitches quite well. And that's something I will have a try. And I will show everybody. Um, so I'm just, and then you know, you, you, I've printed that off. I can either keep that as a template, or I can use this as well. Um, you know, if you wanted, uh, you you couldn't put it behind there because it just doesn't look right. But you could use it as paper strips and things like that. So I will come back when I've got some more done. Hi, I'm back. So what I've decided to do, instead of doing some more of these, is to actually use some of these while you're here with me now. So this is these are the journal pages. I'm not going to go through them um, slowly. As you can see, I've got graph paper. Um, it's a digital I've got. I've got some vellum. That's poppies, but I like the colour of it. Um, this lined paper, there's coffee dyed paper and that's the middle and that's got like a digital coffee dyed paper. So what I want to do is, this is an envelope I made out of um, one of the papers and I've stitched it and I'm going to use, I think this one, no, you can see where I've taped it on tipped it over so there's nothing on that bit which is fine and what I am going to get is, is some of this stuff that I've had been on now I use that for mixing paint and all sorts but what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my bits on that I'm just pulling that off and I'm keeping it. <laughs> I didn't want it to do that. <laughs> oh. Right. So we'll just stick that down there. Actually, what we'll do is we'll stick that down there. And if you want, you can turn it round onto there, but I'm going to be sticking this envelope down, so I'm not wasting it. And then just stick it on if you've got some sticky sheets. Um, that hasn't got anything on most of it, so I am going to stick that on there and just smooth it off with a coffee card, old credit card, shop card and there we have it um, I'm going to go over it with some 
I've not put anything on this yet. It did have gathered twigs on it. Um, but I am going to add tea dye to the edges. on this side it'd be a lot easier and you can see it does masking tape does take the the color quite well you just have to let it dry and if i just do it on the edges There you are. And if you wanted, you could do the edges while you're, you know, while it's on here. And then once you've used your acetate, you can either use it as you normally would crafting because there's no, I mean, it won't be perfectly see-through or you can just keep it for this kind of, um, project for you know just keep one for your masking tape all I'm going to do is which one not right vintage photo um, put that one up here and what I'll do is I'll go over the edge edges that I've missed and it's just would be the same as you inking your your pages I mean you don't have to do vintage photo um, I could have done yellow there I mean, you can even try um, painting on your masking tape, you know, put strips of masking tape down and do some watercolour and acrylic painting. Um, the mark making, you know, do your dots and your stripes and your crosses, uh, even stamping. In fact, I've got some new stamp. Well, they're not new. I bought them off eBay. Um, got them a good bargain. Somebody was selling them. And I think what I might do is I might try right, this one I've pulled off. Um, Just going to stick this on here now. This says cherish, so you probably would be better using a tuxedo black. I'm going to use the sepia, and I'm just going to straighten my cherish out. Going to put it along here to see what it's like. There we are, cherish. I just thought these would be a really nice touch to my journal. So there it is on the the masking tape. You see, it's not as sharp, and it is bleeding in a bit. And what we'll do is we'll do one on here. There we are. So if you haven't got a printer, um, or you don't, you know, use a printer, you can do this, and you can use your stamps, um, you can use your paints. Obviously, 
let it dry because you can see and it will but that should dry no problem um, now let's go back to this I keep skipping from one thing to another so we've got that I think that's fine um, how about we put something down the side of a coffee day or I want to put some on a graph paper or you can see when I scanned the graph paper um, when I'd coffee dyed it it was um, a little bit creased so that's fine now what do I want do I want roses do I want a shabby bit? I think we'll use this and I'll put some more. Um, in fact, we'll leave that there a minute. Scrappy stamp. Again, I'm using Versafine. I'm not. it goes on the others it goes on the others I'm not that bothered and I think we'll put a little bit with the roses let's just add in a little bit more I do these things and then I think oh I should have done that and I should have done that well that's what I'm doing and um, hopefully it can give you more ideas um, and if you can make your own sort of like style washi tape because you can't always get what you want um, there we are and what we'll do is we'll put the scripty one Well, see there it tripped. Am I bothered? No, because I can use that ripped bit on something else. And I'm just putting this down here. Again, I'll just stick that back on there because it goes with that bit. Um, you now, if you wanted to strengthen sort of like your um, the creases in your page, or if you wanted to strengthen uh, an envelope that you'd made, um, you know, it's the ideal thing. Uh, this was my last video. Um, making it was a postcode lottery envelope it was gold and I wanted to keep it since I've done that I have stuck some more embellishments on but um, you know and putting I've put a stamp on the label but we can put a bit of this on and again if you've just got a, a reward card whatever And then just put that on and have I got a little bit of, there we are. Um, don't know if I've got anything in here that I want done. That's going, going to get stuck. Um, but that's it basically. So I hope you get something out of this. Um, I keep coming up with these ideas and I think, and I mean, don't get me wrong, this isn't my idea. This is something that I've um, seen on YouTube 
somebody was speaking about it and I thought I'll have a try um, so but I've now done it for you guys so I've shared shared the idea and that's the whole idea of crafting that's what I like about crafting so I hope you get something out of it if you want to follow my journey um, if you want to see me finish off the the journal the summer rose journal then please um subscribe give me a thumbs up leave a comment if if i've missed something out and you want to see more let me know okay see you in the next video bye